the cooling fan on this Saturn is not turning on. This is a 97 Saturn SL2. Gonna diagnose why this cooling fan is not turning on and this should apply for any of the S series Saturns. So let's go jump right into it. Common issue with these Saturns is the engine coolant temperature sensor. So that's located on the side of the head here, just below the intake and just below the EGR. You'll see two wires coming out on this 97. Two wires are somewhere over here. And the plastic ones fail. If you have one that's not plastic, those are the good ones. If you have plastic, you probably want to swap to the more modern one, which I think is brass. So, quick test of is your fan bad or not? Unplug the coolant temperature sensor. Your radar fan should kick on. Let's try that. And here is the connector for the engine cool temperature sensor. You see there's just two plastic tabs on each side that you pry off and then you can slide it right out. So we'll set this aside. Let's start the engine up and the engine should turn the fan on. There we go. Well, you see it's reading half. Interesting. Let's go. The fan is not on. Okay, and following some basics. So, fuse panel off in the engine bay. You see this 30 amp cooling fan fuse. Tested it, it's good. Right next to this one, this relay was this. You see it's marked up. That tells me someone else has been here and someone thought something suspicious about this. So, quick fix, this is the cooling fan. Right next to it's the AC. They're the same relay, so let's just swap this one over here, see if it comes on. Still not spinning. So I have unplugged the fan harness. This is what I got rigged up for my ground. And this is a power probe by the way. So we got ground here. If I touch it, you see we got ground. Now when I go in here and I give it power, we should hear the fan go. No fan. Let me make sure I don't have a bad connection, but I think this fan motor is actually bad. And without a shadow of a doubt, I click the power on and nothing. Motor, definitely bad. I got the radiator fan all disassembled. So I need this car ready for tomorrow and they don't have anything, the full thing in stock, but apparently you can buy just the motor. So I started disassembling everything. If you can read, it says left hand thread, turn right to remove. So turn the nut right to remove with my impact three bolts on the motor and here we go here's the motor that's not doing what it's supposed to be if you look on the back side it's actually just caked with stuff in here this is like the foam under hood material stuff uh, and there's also some of that foam right here um, under or just above the top of the on the top of the radiator this is supposed to help seal airflow but Anyway, some of that stuff got inside of this motor and I wouldn't be surprised if that's why it died. It also, more than likely original motor, 100,000 miles later, here we are. So let's go grab a new motor, throw it all in. All right, got the new fan installed. So gotta make sure which one is positive, which one's negative. Um, it doesn't really matter, but the important thing is the motor will still spin, but you wanna make sure the fan spins the correct direction. So, gonna make sure I get that wired up correctly. Plug in 
it in the correct spot and we're all good to go let's throw this in the car coolant temperature sensor is still unplugged so the fan should turn on let's start it up and if you can hear it's running fan is working now that was a fix all right i'm gonna plug the sensor back in and we're good and there we go sensors back in fan no longer running but we heard the fan run with the sensor off that means we solved our issue we are good to go thank you for watching this diagnosis and fix i'll see you in the next one